ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool driven by AI technology that allows you to interact with an AI chatbot. You can have a casual conversation, ask questions, get help with learning, or even get creative. I've run a wrestling show on Twitch.tv since 2017, and recently I've been using ChatGPT to create some promos for the show. But the other day, I had a brilliant idea. What if I made something completely new? Or rather, what if ChatGPT made something? What if ChatGPT made a wrestling show? So welcome to ChatGPT Wrestling, or CGPTW for short. Not the catchiest name, I know, but if you've got a better suggestion, drop it in the comments below. So for this show, ChatGPT will design everything, and I will use my very human powers of creativity to bring the show to life, using Photoshop and mostly WWE 2K23. First of all, I asked ChatGPT to design me a new wrestling show with an included male and female roster with gimmicks and appearance descriptions. This is the result. Epic Brawl Dominion is a revolutionary wrestling show that blends athleticism, storytelling and innovative match concepts to create a unique viewing experience. The show takes place in an arena with a dynamic set design that changes according to the different themes for each event. This show emphasizes both in-ring skills and engaging storylines, catering to both hardcore wrestling fans and a mainstream audience. Introducing the male roster, Maverick the techno-savvy Daredevil, a high-flying Daredevil who incorporates cutting-edge technology into his moves. He is the ultimate risk-taker, often using drones and augmented reality effects in his entrances and his matches. Maverick wears a suit adorned with LED lights and circuit patterns. He wears a pair of futuristic goggles that enhance his vision during matches. Magnus, the Enchanted Barbarian, a warrior from a forgotten time, Magnus possesses mystical powers that he channels to gain an edge in the ring. He uses a mix of brute strength and arcane abilities. Magnus wears a weathered, leathered, armored, adorned with glowing runes. He has tribal tattoos and carries a mystical staff that emits an otherworldly energy. Phoenix, the resilient fire starter, a survivor who has overcome numerous obstacles, Phoenix is known for his incredible resilience and never give up attitude. His wrestling style is a mix of technical prowess and a hard hitting strikes. Phoenix sports flame inspired ring gear with the Phoenix emblems on his chest. He has intricate flame tattoos on his arms and wears a mask resembling a burning feathers. And now for the female roster. Astrid the Astral Nomad, an otherworldly traveler with a mysterious aura. Astrid combines acrobatics with a unique grappling style that utilizes cosmic forces. She claims to draw power from the stars. Astrid wears a shimmering celestial themed bodysuit adorned with holographic accent. Her hair is styled in a way that resembles flowing constellations. Serafina the Dark Serpent, a seductive and cunning wrestler who embodies the both beauty and danger. Serafina uses her agility and mind games to manipulate her opponents. Serafina wears dark, elegant attire with intricate lace details. She has a snake tattoos winding around her arms and wearing a mask that conceals half of her face, adorned with serpent motifs. Rhea, the Iron Valkyrie, a powerhouse of a woman who draws inspiration from Norse mythology. Rhea possesses unmatched strength and an unyielding spirit, often adopting a warrior persona. She wears an armor-like ring gear with Nordic designs and carries a battle axe to the ring. Her attire features fog fur accents and she has intricate braided hair. Okay, now that we have introductions underway, let's jump into the first character. Let's make Maverick. First, let's make him a high flyer, light, heavyweight and no persona. I want to start from scratch. Then I change his name and look for something similar for his presentation name. Fortunately for us, Maverick is in the game. I pick a face that I think might work with the character and a body that works with the idea I have at least. For the legs, I look for something that looked futuristic and kind of cool, but I can't really find anything that was going for it, so I had to just wing it. He got the sleek jacket because I had no LED or circuit board images and I took the Balor logo just to like simulate it, a bit of glow and boom! Gave him glasses, robot eye, went back and remade the parts uh, of the in-ring attire, played with the poses for quite a while and voila, Maverick, the techno-savvy daredevil was born. Maverick, the techno-savvy daredevil, a high-flying daredevil who incorporates cutting-edge technology into his moves. He is the ultimate risk taker. Now, I had a lot of fun with this one to be honest. No persona as usual and for some reason Magnus isn't an announcer in the game, but whatever. I'm thinking pale, muscles, and oh, 
obviously a big beard with the biggest eyebrows. Scars of Battle is a must. Now, the hair, that took me a while to find something I liked. Ended up alright. Now we need some leather, some runes, and some good old fur. I try to color everything brownish to simulate leather and fur, and there's a lot. More runes, and what goes best with scars? Face paint! Add more scars, chest hair, because MAN MODE! That's what I'm talking about! MAN MODE! Big, floofy cape, long, long horns, and now, strike a pose. Magnus, the enchanted barbarian is ready for battle! Phoenix is a technician because ChatGPT actually told us that. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, I had an image in mind, but this, mm, it's not my proudest creation. The idea was to make him covered in flame-like tattoos, but I couldn't find anything that matched up with what I had in mind, and the content in the community upload wasn't up to what I was thinking, so I had to improvise big time. The lesson here is to just make your own stuff and upload it. The color scheme in general is fire-based and I tried making the mask look as close to a burning feathers as the game would allow without using the giant turkey head because, you know, that would be cheating. At the end of the day, I'm content with the result except the tattoos. The, the tattoos suck, let's be honest. But risen from the ashes, here he is, Phoenix, the resilient fire starter, a survivor who's known for his incredible resilience. For Astrid, I needed some inspiration from the Personas, and I actually had to Google Astrid Nomad to see if that was even a thing. Spoilers, it's not. Anyways, no good names in the game, so on to looks. I decided to go for outfit before working with the face and hair, and I knew I wanted some sort of singlet or combination outfit. I found one with some metal and a bunch of laces and made it look sort of space-like, whatever the hell that is. All the astral images I googled had some sort of blue or white in them, okay? For the hair, I wanted something big and or long, and I, I think I nailed it. The color of the hair and the makeup was more to emphasize the astral theme yet again. Imagine she flew in from space. Found a nice pose, and boom! Astrid, the astral nomad, had arrived. An otherworldly traveler with a mysterious aura. She combines acrobatic cosmic forces and draws power from the stars. For Serafina, I had sort of Dark Witch of the Woods vibes straight off the prompt, and any witch will be tired, so crow's feet and darkness round the eyes is a must. Also dirty teeth, all witches have dirty teeth, we all know this. Next, I was thinking of long, long black hair and obviously snake and skull tattoos covering her arms. According to the prompt, she wears a mask and it kinda ruined it for me to be honest, but ChatGPT knows best and I will obey, so I found one that at least looked sort of evil, I guess. There wasn't a good snake one that wasn't silly, okay? Darkness, boots, leather, lace outfit, and yes, cat claws. Not very snake-like, I know, but still, it works. For entrance, she needs something menacing, and there it is. Serafina, the dark serpent, seductive, cunning. She is the embodiment of both beauty and danger. Mind games and manipulation is the way she wins. So fun thing about Rhea is that I had a perfect idea in my head and she actually turned out very similar to a character on my Twitch show without my intent. But we need brown hair with braids, some sort of battle paint and even though piercings might not be historically accurate, I wanted to try it out and honestly it kind of worked. For the clothes I was thinking a little bit along the lines of what I did with Magnus but I was very torn on certain leather and fur outfits actually took me quite a while. I, I was torn on the belt and what legs to use, but after doing the boots I got a better feel for what she'd end up like, and I really wanted the belt. Got some gloves, changed the legs, and it was here I noticed the similarity, so I had to go change up the hair, but still have a braid, and I also did over the, the face paint. For the entrance, she gets a worn leather coat. Rhea, the Iron Valkyrie, unmatched in strength and unyielding spirit. She refuses to lose unless it's the greatest honor, death. Okay, so now that we have our roster, we need a show. So let's start with the logo for Epic Brawl Dominion. Firstly, let's keep the AI theme going. I head over to imagine.r and try out some different styles to get some inspiration. Hmm, maybe anime isn't the way to go. Let's try realistic. This actually has potential. Let's do a few more and perfect. This will do. At this point, I already have an idea, so I download the image and boot up good old Photoshop. 
So, what I was looking for was general shapes and something that fits the name, or something like aggressive or brutal and epic and brawl and dominion. So it might not be epic or a dominion, but general shapes and this logo is giving off brawling vibes. So first I try some ideas just to get like a general vibe of what I want even, and just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks basically. After I find something that I like, I just keep going with it. So I'm using the lasso tool, get the shapes I want, where I want them, rearrange some things, add some text, add effects, line it up and boom, we have a logo. So let's load it up in 2K23 and make our arena. For the arena, I literally had no idea what I wanted to go for. So I just chose a template and decided to let the inspiration flow. Black and yellow is the color of our logo, so let's keep it like that. I want to get a gritty vibe. This is a small little promotion and not a big arena. Oh, and round things that our logo can fit in, because why not? On the side of the stage, we had some ladders and just random junk to please the fans. When it comes to the ring, I want to keep the same vibe as the stage. Yellow, black, blood, basically. Let's try and make this place as cheap and brawl looking as we can, but still stick to the theme. No proper barricades here and certainly no lights on the ramp. I think we might just have it. Aha, I mean what I will come up with.